News in-depth coverage now on the growing financial crisis. Yesterday, the House rejected the $700 billion bailout plan, sending shockwaves through Wall Street. The bailout plan was voted down 228 to 205. The Dow plunged to a record low yesterday, reaching 777 points and closing the day at 10,365. And that is the largest single-day point loss ever. Now, both parties seem to be pointing fingers, playing the blame game, but what is next? The bailout bill is heading back to the drawing board, but despite all the doom and gloom scenarios out there right now, the stock market is actually bouncing back a little bit. You see right there, it is up more than 280 points, more than 290, in fact, now. In the meantime, President Bush sent a message to Congress this morning saying it is time to act and pass the $700 billion bailout plan. But he and the markets will have to wait at least one more day. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Roberts has the details from Washington. President Bush delivered a strong message to Congress. It's time to pass the bailout bill. For the financial security of every American, Congress must act. Mr. Bush talked by phone with both presidential candidates this morning, and administration officials are talking with lawmakers, looking for a way to move forward after the defeat of the $700 billion rescue plan. We're in an urgent situation, and the consequences will grow worse each day if we do not act. Leaders from both parties are blaming each other for the bill's failure, but both sides say they want to pass a plan that restores confidence in America's economy. We're committed to finding a resolution to this, and I think that by weeks in, we will have a solution to this problem. There's really no excuse for not acting in the way we did yesterday. The markets and investors will have to wait for a new bailout plan. Lawmakers in the House are scheduled to return to work Thursday. But the Senate is in session. Party leaders there could start debating the rescue bill today. But it would be largely symbolic, aimed at pushing their colleagues in the House to move quickly and pass an economic plan as soon as they return to Capitol Hill. That was Susan Roberts reporting, excuse me, but the Senate is still in session. Party leaders there could start debating the rescue bill today. And it would mostly be aimed at pushing their colleagues in the House to move quickly and pass an economic plan as soon as they return. Now, foreign markets have also taken a big beating overnight in the Wall Street aftermath. Japan's Nikkei dropped a little more than 4 percent. Hong Kong's market fell 2.4 percent. Australia's markets also dipped. And the prime minister there says the U.S. needs to act soon to prevent a global financial panic. Well, here in Rhode Island, people are getting hit hard. Businesses and individuals are all struggling, and people are looking to local leaders for answers. Well, Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly spoke to Congressman Langevin on the crisis, and he is live in Warwick with the Mobile Newsroom. Yes, Elizabeth, we just spoke with Congressman Jim Langevin inside his Rhode Island office here in Warwick, and here's his dramatic assessment of what yesterday's rejection of the bailout package means. The congressman said, quote, we're now skydiving without a parachute. I just hope we land on something soft. You know, from my vantage point, you know, if, if you're sitting on a hill and you're, you're watching a train wreck about to happen, uh, wouldn't you want to do everything possible uh, to prevent the train wreck from happening in the first place? That's what yesterday's vote uh, was all about. That's ultimately why I voted yes. Uh, and I know that there are a lot of people out there uh, that, are, uh, that, are, that are angry with the situation that we're in. Uh, perhaps the, you know, the, the administration and Congress hasn't done a good enough job of articulating uh, why this is so important for Main Street, for, the, uh, for average voters, hardworking people. Congressman, what's next? Are you confident that when Congress returns to session on Thursday that something will be done? Well, failure is not an option. We have to uh, come up with some kind of a, of a measure that is going to uh, uh, prevent our, our economic system from going into some kind of a, some kind of a, uh, a financial meltdown. And this isn't just about uh, Wall Street. This is about Main Street. Congressman Langevin is calling this the second most difficult moment in his congressional career, second only to 9-11. Live outside our, no, we're not. We're live here at Congressman Langevin's office in Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Sean Daly, Eyewitness News. Well, Rhode Island Congressman Patrick Kennedy also voted in favor of yesterday's bailout bill. Last night, Kennedy released this statement, quote, House Democrats delivered more than their fair share of votes, and it's extremely disappointing that the Republican leadership did not meet their end of the bargain, although a large percentage of Democrats also voted no. There